वेलकम फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सिमजू फ्रेंड्स इन आर नेक्स्ट सेशन ऑफ नॉलेज शेयरिंग टुडे वी विल बी टॉकिंग ऑन मेडिकल सर्टिफिकेट्स वेल नॉलेज प्रॉस्पर्स ऑल सो लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड एस टू व्हाट इज दिस टोटल फंडा अबाउट मेडिकल सर्टिफिकेट्स एंड सिकनेस एंड इंडस्ट्रीज बेसिकली फ्रेंड्स देर इज नो including myself who's never had an occasion in his life to give a medical certificate we have all given medical certificates at this or that point of time maybe in school or maybe in college or maybe in industries everywhere everybody has given a medical certificate and that's why it's in the fitness of things to understand today this total theory of medical certificates and sickness with respect to workers and the management many a times friends false certificates are given and that is why i had thought of on the demand and so many of my friends and so many of our viewers have written to me and called me and said that you make something on medical certificates and that's why friends we start basically what is a medical certificate medical certificate is a certificate which is given by a doctor now doctor means he should be an authorized doctor <clears throat> and if i go to a doctor i must provide the doctor with my medical history with my ailment with my malady with its symptoms whatever is the syndrome and everything all relevant information about my health based on that what the doctor is going to do is he is going to verify that information if at all he wants he could make some tests also i am not a doctor so the doctor follows whatever is the medical science and ultimately gives me a piece of document which is called as a medical certificate which describes my condition of health maybe a diagnosis maybe a treatment further and sometimes the prognosis also so friends this is in general a medical certificates which most of us are aware of now you see what has happened in industries over the years is employees have adopted different types of rules or a masquerade or a gimmick or a trick to fool the management and to avail different different types of leaves medical certificates are procured from not from doctors but from quacks in india you must be seeing sometimes on footpath those people they put up a tent and then some boards are holding sign something is displayed jali milaj and this and that so they are not doctors they are quacks you get quacks in villages also they have their own different remedies i mean sometimes indigenous ones and then but the question is can they give a medical certificate what is the sanctity and the validity of the medical certificate which is given by them some workers depend more on the loopholes rather than observing the rules well there are some rules and medical certificates have to be given as per the rules at different different points of time but these people will go on looking at the loopholes and we need to understand as far as sickness is concerned the total fundamental about medical certificate whose certificate is valid what is a medical certificate when can leave be taken on the basis of a medical certificate everything is to is going to be answered in this episode or maybe if time does not doesn't permit then maybe in the next episode as we usually do now friends it is well settled that while availing of the leave an employee has to apply for the same giving reasons in the earlier episodes we have seen leave is not a right and if at all you want to avail leave you have to apply that too in writing depending on how early you apply factories act and then the shops and establishments act of almost every state has a provision of that now in under order to understand how to avail leave i will just request you to see our earlier episodes and you see the provisions under the shop act as well as the factories act wherein there is a stipulated amount of time that these many days you have to apply for leave in advance if at all you are sick of course you give a medical certificate and uh, the reasons for available uh, availing leave should not be vague health is not good is just a vague sentence well i'm not feeling well this is also vague 
I am feeling something and then I don't know how to express it and people describe it in n number of manners. But these are all vague statements. Reason for availing leave should be very specific, it should be to the point, doctor should understand, management should understand, what do you want to say, all of these then only you can avail leave. Now you see, no employee can avail leave as a matter of right. So many cases we saw. Abba Sherke's case we saw, Ms. Dr. Singla's case we saw, wherein the Honorable Supreme Court has laid down so many fundamentals and so in so many judgments that yes, if you want to avail leave, leave is first and foremost, it is not a matter of right. It will depend on so many of the circumstances. And you have to apply for leave well in advance so that the management is aware that this person is going on leave. Manpower allocation is a management function. So your HR manager or whoever are the managers on the shop floor and in various departments can arrange the workforce in such a manner that in your absence also the factory or the shop or the establishment it runs. In simple words it just means that. Now, mere sending a medical certificate without an application for grant of leave will not mean that the leave is sanctioned. There are different ways of taking leave. Some are funny ways. People say, some, somebody gives a call, I am not going to come today. This is no way of taking our, a leave, forget granting. Then some send an SMS, not coming today. All these are outmoded ways or rather they are not regular methods also. The correct method is to make an application which has to be in writing. It could be done on a computer also. And then you, it should be accompanied with a medical certificate if at all the basis of the leave is that you are sick or you are suffering from some ailment. Now medical certificate is necessary for the management to take a proper decision. How would management know that you say, I am not feeling well, means what? What is happening with you? How grave is your malady? How is, what is the depth of your disease or whatever you are suffering from? Some people say I am suffering from sinusitis. Means what? Is it ordinary cold or whether it is ordinary say some sinus symptoms or it is going to take a longer time and you have to be operated for that. Nothing can be deciphered only with this sentence that I am suffering from sinus. So medical certificate is very necessary. It goes to the point. Subsequently obtained medical certificate is of no avail that I remain absent for 15 days and then one fine morning I come and then I say I was sick and here is the medical certificate. It's later in time. Sometimes it could be also accused of being an afterthought. Well, you have adjusted something and you know malingering. We have already seen in our earlier episodes the concept of malingering. Malingering means pretending to be sick in order to avoid work. Well, this is sometimes they say a pastime of Indians also. Many of them have done though I will not paint everybody with the same brush. Now friends, see the function of the court is not to decide whether the workman is ill or not because that's the function of a doctor. But the function of the court and the management indeed is to find out whether the medical certificate which is submitted is bona fide or is not bona fide. Well, anybody can submit fake certificates. Rather, there is a saying that you go in any civil hospital in, in India and in a few hundred rupees you will get any certificate you want. I don't know how far it's true and false, but then I heard it somewhere. Now, you see, no medical certificate is necessary for minor ailments. Understandable. Sometimes you are going to be sick. Sometimes I am going to be sick. We all have, I mean, weather changes are there. And today, because of environmental changes, climatic zones have shifted. There are changes in temperature. In the same day, it rains also and it snow, uh, not snows, but uh, say it rains also and it's hot also and all those things. Now, a mixture of this, doctors say it produces some viruses and which attack people. So, some people get a sinus attack. Some people have say, swollen uh, throats and ears and sore throats and so many of the things. So, but these are minor elements and who is going to decide whether it's minor or major? It's the doctor again. Something which in general terms, something which is getting over and a person becomes fit as a fiddle in three days could be considered as a minor ailment. Then there are major ailments. When there is minor, there has to be major. So when should a medical certificate be submitted? The answer is the medical certificate should be submitted very simple. 
ऑनरेबल कोर्ट्स हैव ऑलरेडी लेट डाउन इन एन नंबर ऑफ जजमेंट्स एट द अर्लीएस्ट स्टेज वेन डू यू थिंक आई मीन आई एम सफरिंग फ्रॉम दिस एलिमेंट एंड देन समथिंग इज हैपनिंग टू माई हार्ट एंड आफ्टर एट मंथ्स आई एम गिविंग नो अ मेडिकल सर्टिफिकेट नो एट द अर्लीएस्ट स्टेज सम कोर्ट से इट कैनॉट बी प्रोड्यूस्ड एट अ लेटर स्टेज वेर एज सम अलाउ इट ऑल्सो समटाइम्स इट इज एट द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द मैनेजमेंट ऑल्सो डीलिंग गेटिंग अ मेडिकल सर्टिफिकेट में कास्ट अ सस्पेशन वॉट इज दिस आई मीन इट इज इज नो द डॉक्टर इज द डॉक्टर हैंड इन ग्लव विथ हिम इज द रेम इज द एलिमेंट रियल और इज इट एग्रवेटेड वॉट रियली इज द थिंग वन सर्टिफिकेट वॉज नॉट टू बी बिलीव्ड बिकॉज द नॉमन क्लेचर ऑफ द ऑफ द डिजीज वॉज नॉट प्रॉपर the nomenclature the doctor has to write what is the disease correctly in two languages two languages one language is understandable by the person or any layman and second could be a medical language i mean there are several different diseases i told you i'm not a medical man but then there are names for different diseases that has to be very correct so as to understand as to what this person is really suffering from 